This is a book review of the 1978 Comic Art Convention. This was uh, held in New York, and Jeffrey Jones, Michael William Kaluta, and I assume other people turned up. He's obviously the big names, and Barry Windsor Smith and Bernie Wrightson, obviously the studio. And this was their uh, catalog. It's uh, about 60 pages, 60 odd pages, and uh, it's a real nice sort of snapshot of a particular time. Obviously, American comics, but there's also other comics mentioned in here as well. So I'm just going to quickly run through it. Now, this is uh, got the initial page. I'm just going to quickly turn to there. See, welcome to the When in Midtown Manhattan. So you've got all the, I love these sorts of things, all the old ads for the comic shops and places. Uh, this one is obviously just a lovely one there. New York Comic Arts Gallery. Wow, that must have been really good. Now, unfortunately, I hadn't had to, obviously been to uh, New York by that time. First time I went to New York was about 86. So uh, I, I don't know if that was still there. If I'd known it, I would have gone and checked. But it's, uh, wow. So uh, welcome to the, uh, obviously the Comic Arts Convention. And you've got Roy Thomas, Trina Robbins, Jeffrey Jones, obviously all the people, and also uh, Philippe Brule, um, excellent artist. I love, you've got their staff, and you've got introduction. And then the first thing is, welcome you to the, welcomes you to the convention. This is a DC advert. So you've got uh, Vixen. Hmm. I must admit, I don't think I've ever bought a comic with uh, Vixen in. But anyway, got uh, Suicide Squad, The World of Krypton, uh, coming to showcase, The Deserter, The Huntress. And you also got here, coming this winter, Strange Adventures, etc. Adam Strange, of course. And then you've got Roy Thomas. You've got a lovely bit, obviously, a bit about see, Conan work. Conan there. And then on to, I love this sort of thing. This is just brilliant. And I always sort of look at it and think, oh, because I haven't got, I've got quite a few of these ones. And this is the EC library. I haven't got the uh, main horror ones. I haven't got any of the horror ones. And this is obviously complete weird science. I've got that one. I love that. Just one of the best reprint books ever. Absolutely massive volumes. Brilliant. Obviously all in black and white, but just beautiful quality. Just the best. Probably only beaten, I expect, by the IDW Artist Editions. And I expect people will quibble whether they're better or worse. But I, I just love those older EC ones. And you've got the First Kingdom. And then, oh, Six from Heavy Metal. Ulysses, I love that one as well. Heavy Metal presents Ulysses. Absolutely lovely section there of books. And then Trina Robbins, you've got obviously some of her artwork there. And then on to pulp magazines, you've got Neil, oh, that one's a lovely book. Art of Neil Adams, I love that one. One of my favorite. Unfortunately, I got rid of it years ago. Oh, Gray Morrow's work, I love this one. And then you've got Star Wars. And then Comic Investments, this is Ron Osser. Osser. Oh, this one, Marvel Comic Index. I love that book, that series. I got, I think I got quite a few of those uh, ones. I got the Fantastic Four one and many others. So, oh, Arkham House Publications, Price Guide 2. Oh, I had that one. Price Guide, that's a really, really good price guide, that one. So uh, 668 pages, packed pages, 32 pages of rare comic covers, etc. They got a lovely Howard Shake in there, Cody Starbuck, and then Jeffrey Jones. Lovely bit of artwork there. So you've got Jeffrey Jones. And then on to, uh, let's see what's on the next. Michael, obviously, M. Kaluta, excellent artist as well. Barry Winsmith, oh, excellent. So you've got brilliant there. And Bernie Wrightson. And then we'll plug in the studio. Now, this is an absolutely superb book. One, sadly, I have not got. My good mate Richard has got a copy, and so whenever I pop up there, I always love to pick up that book and just have a good read of it because it's so beautiful artwork. One of those things that I regret that I didn't buy at the time. However, next one, you've got Little Nemo. You've got, also got some more ads for more books. I just, this is the thing I love about these books. 1978, so it's a nice snapshot of what sort of, obviously there was all the various fanzines, magazines, etc. that were really, are really good for that sort of information as well. But you've got these sort of books where it's just a showing all the various products that are out at the time. And this one, oh, I love Philip A. Philippe. My apologies to get his name completely wrong. Droulet or Droulette, Droulet, I'm certain it said. And uh, I just, excellent, excellent artist. Some really, truly brilliant works. So I love that. 
and you've got some fine examples there, and you've got obviously advertising of, oh, I'm not even going to say that, <laughs> and then you've got a custom parade, obviously at the time you can see what was obviously popular, uh, Red Sonja at that time, and then you've got a comic book marketplace, and it, ooh, each, mis each month admission free, wow. So, well, of course, that's, but it's also got quite a lot of conventions. Now, of course, the conventions, well, at the moment, of course, there's none, but it was always just, unfortunately, we're getting less and less conventions. I would love to see a lot more comic conventions, but, of course, the internet, everything. But, anyway, so you've got John Carter, Warlord of Mars. I love, love that series of Mar uh, Marvel. You've got, obviously, Storm, Miss Marvel. Black Canary, and oh, I love this one. The 1948 Comic Arts Convention, sort of describing as if there was a convention. Obviously there wasn't, since the first ones were obviously in the 60s. This was the 1948 one, and it's talking about obviously uh, like the EC books, obviously the, pick, the Bible, the one that's obviously Gaines, uh, Millie the Model, Hey Look, etc., Donald Duck, Marvel Family, Captain Marvel, all the sort of things that were very popular then. And you've got this timely... Uh, and this, you've got the guy there with all the, the panels, obviously the pages of original comic book art. Now, I think there's a lot of people who would love to say there was a convention in 1948 and they could go back in time and they would just want to pick up all those pages. I loved a lot. Just, I have a lot. Everyone. No messing. No messing. And uh, you've obviously got Daredevil. You've got Superman, obviously. And it's just really quite... And also, of course, the great artists that would have been there. And... Uh, and then on to the next page, obviously got a little bit more of the story. And dumb, one cent. Very nice. Star Spawn. Oh, so I looked at that for a long time. And also, greetings, obviously, uh, yeah, brilliant bit of Jack Kirby there. And then on to the 100,000 comics in stock. So Robert Bell, one of the largest selections of comic books. So you've got that, and then you've got an ad at the back. So I just love these sort of books. These really are brilliant. Got lots and lots of catalogues. And those catalogues, I think this one is probably quite a decent one. It's, it's quite, got a lot of great artists and uh, obviously Roy Thomas, etc. And I just think, wow, love that uh, period and that all those artists, superb artists. So 1978, Comic Art Convention, absolutely brilliant.